Alright, so students, welcome back to our online video here. Okay, so for today's video, we are going to learn um, how to use Poisson distribution as the approximation to the binomial distribution. Okay, so when you see the word approximation, I think you feel very familiar right? because I think you learned it somewhere in AS before, right? Okay, so the concept a bit similar, right? Okay, so for learning outcome 1.4, we are going to use the Poisson distribution as an approximation to the binomial when appropriate, uh, when appropriate. Uh. So there are conditions that you need to fulfill to change binomial become Poisson where n should be greater than 50 and n q should be, uh, n d should be smaller than 1. Okay, all right. So before we start uh, to learn this part, maybe just a very a quick recall. All right, so in AS chapter five, You learn uh, as one part of the very, very last part in the syllabus, uh, you actually learn how to change a binomial distribution become normal. So when you change binomial become normal, right, the parameter in the normal should be mean and variance bar, right? So what is the mean? It should be n times p. And then what is the variance here? It should be n p q. All right. And then you cannot simply change binomial become normal one. It must, uh, some condition must be fulfilled before you can change it. So do you still remember what are the conditions that you need to check yourself? Okay, so when n is greater or equals to 30, when np is greater than 5, when nq is greater than 5 also, then you can change binomial become normal. All right, so this is what we learned in a S level. Uh. Okay, then now, let's have a look for this one. X is binomial distribution, therefore, it is actually discrete random variable. So you can record this in chapter 4, AS level, all right? Okay, then for normal distribution, it belongs to continuous random variable. And when you are changing discrete become continuous variable, when you want to calculate the probability, you need to do some adjustment, right? So what is the adjustment that you are doing? You need to apply continuity correction. Continuity correction. So usually what's the value for continuity correction? It should be either plus or minus 0 0.5, but it depends on the sign of the question that you have and also the value of the question that you have. All right, but generally we are either plus 0 0.5 or minus 0 0.5 for the continuity correction. Okay, then now, for this video and for this part, this subtopic in our syllabus here, we are going to learn something very similar also. But we are going to change binomial, again, which is N and P, and we want to change it, become Poisson distribution. Okay, so for binomial, you have the parameter N and P. So do you remember what is the parameter? inside the Poisson distribution here is mean, right? So how can you calculate the mean from binomial distribution? So the formula should be NP. All right, so like normal distribution last time, you're having mean and variance. Right? So mean for binomial is NP, variance for binomial is NPQ. So you do the same thing here like, to get the mean for Poisson is NP. And again, you cannot simply change binomial become Poisson. Okay, so why you cannot simply change binomial become Poisson because you need to check and see whether uh, your binomial fulfill the condition or not. So what is the condition that you need to check? All right, so there are two actually that you need to check. The first one is n must be greater than 50. And then np must be smaller than 5. So you need to check whether it fulfill these two condition, then only you can continue or change binomial become Poisson distribution. Okay, so there are two only. The binomial to normal one, there are two. Okay, so it's easier for us to check on this. Huh? Okay, then now. The very obvious difference here is difference here is MP greater than five, then you change binomial become normal. But for binomial to Poisson, your MP must be smaller than five. 
Okay, so this is a very big difference uh, between binomial to normal or binomial to Poisson. Okay, so another difference is this one. For binomial to normal, it's n greater than 30. But for my binomial to Poisson, it is n greater than 50. Okay, so I would like to talk a bit about this value here, n greater than 50. Okay, so if you check online, or maybe you could go through with some other reference book, you will see that some reference book, they didn't put this as the condition. That means they will put n greater equals to 30, but they are not using n greater than 50. Some books, they are writing like this, okay? So when you see this kind of question, right, n greater equals to 30, it doesn't mean that the book is wrong and the book is still correct. All right, but for all these kind of conditions, sometimes they want to make very uh, obvious difference, like for A levels, B levels, uh, then they are choosing the larger value, which is n greater than 50. Uh. All right, so because we are taking 11 exams, so we just follow what they want. Uh. So their request is they want to make this condition as n greater than 50. Actually, it is not wrong uh, if I say you are having n greater equal to 30, but follow our syllabus, okay? We will take what they suggest, which is n greater than 50. Okay, all right, then now. This is how we change binomial to Poisson and what is the condition that you need to check. And another one we talk about, okay, binomial. So as I said just now, bi binomial is discrete random variable. Okay, then what happened to Poisson? So Poisson is also discrete random variable. So I think I told you in the very, very first video about Poisson already. Now. I hope that you still remember. Okay, so both are discrete random variable, right? Therefore, from discrete to discrete, there's no continuity correction needed. All right, so there's no continuity correction needed. Okay, because both are the same, they are discrete. Okay, when you change binomial to normal, one is discrete, another one is continuous, then only you need to change and apply the continuity correction. Okay, all right, so these are some <coughs> simple summary on what have you learned before and what are we going to learn now. Okay, so I hope that you can see the difference between these two. All right, so in your notes, you can highlight if let's say you're having x is binomial distributed, then when n greater than 50, np smaller than 5, then you can change it become poison. So for poison is np. Okay. Then if let's say your n is larger and the p is smaller, then the approximation is better. Okay. So maybe this two one you need to remember it because I'm afraid that in exam style question they will ask you if they want to increase the accuracy of the answer for approximation. So what can you adjust or what can you do? So the thing that you can tell them is you need the larger n or maybe you need the smaller p to make the approximation better and more accurate. Alright, so this part actually nothing much, but you need to know the process in detail of all these conditions. Okay, so let's have a look and see how we actually answer the question from this part. Okay, so I have a look for example 13. Okay, so for example 13, uh, this one, exam style question, will not ask you this kind of question, too simple, all right? This is mainly for understanding. Okay, so let's have a look. If let's say you are having binomial distributed with this value, okay, they want you to find x smaller than 3 and also the probability for x greater than 4. So first of all, they will not tell you that you need to change it become poison or not. You can check it yourself. All right, so if you look at 300, this is n, right? So n already more than 50, so it should be no problem. Then you take 300 multiply with 0 0.004, you'll get a value 1.2, which is smaller than 5. So if you fulfill the two conditions really, so first condition is what? N greater than 50. Second condition is what? Your MP is equal to 1.4, which is smaller than 5. So two conditions here are fulfilled. Therefore, I can actually change the binomial distribution become Poison. All right, so what is the mean for the poison? It is NP, so NP is 1.4. Okay, 
All right, so to answer part A, how to calculate the probability for x smaller than 3? So again, for x smaller than 3, you need x equals to 0, x equals to 1, x equals to 2. So instead of using the binomial, we can use Poisson now. So it will be E, negative lambda, first term is lambda, x equals to 1 is lambda, uh, first term is 1, sorry. The x equals to 1 is lambda, which is 1.4. Then when x equals to 2, it is 1.4 square divided by 2 factorial. So if you continue from here, you should be able to get 0 0.879. Alright, okay. Then for part B, so you see that there's no continuity correction here lah, huh? because both of them are discrete therefore you don't need to do any adjustment for plus or minus 0 0.5 okay so let's have a look for part number b okay when they are talking about x greater than 4 so for Poisson distribution you cannot uh, get the answer actually right because you can actually have the value until infinity therefore i told you you have to take 1 minus the probability for x smaller equals to 4 Okay, so again, I think you should know what I want you to do already. Lah. I will put dot, 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 dot here. You complete the dot, 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 dot. And to get the final answer, which is 0 0.00775. All okay, so I hope that you can get the answer. Lah. So here, just to show you, how are you going, going to check for the condition when you want to change binomial become horizontal. Okay. Alright, so if no problem, then let us continue with the next example. Okay, so for next example, we are talking about the patient has a particular disease with this probability. There are 80 people go to their doctor. What is the probability that exactly two of them? So the of them is what? Them is what? Them is the people here, right? Go to, go to their doctor. So from this structure uh, of the question, you can see that I'm having 80, 80 people and exactly two of those people, something, something happened. So from here, you should know that it is belongs to binomial distribution. Okay, the, the, the structure of the question is actually binomial distribution stuff. Right, so from here you know that they are binomial distributed. So you can write out the number of patients. So x is equal to number of people or maybe patient are up to you the number of people. And originally it is binomial distributed where you are having 80 and then the probability is 0 0.008. So now, you double check the condition yourself. First condition is n greater than 50. So yes, n is greater than 50. Then for the second condition, you check n times p. What is the value that you get for n times p? You should get 0 0.64, which is smaller than 5. So check also. And this, it fulfills these two conditions here. Therefore, what you can do is, you can change it, become poison. Alright, so how to change it become poison, how to put in the mean value here. So mean is n times p, which is 0 0.64. Okay, so once you change it become poison distribution, then again, part A and part B are both very easy questions. So please complete it by using poison distribution and you should get 0 0.108. And this one should be 0 0.0273. Okay, so I just want to show you how to change it only. Lah. So the rest of the calculation part, please make sure that you complete it yourself. Okay, right. So I hope that you can see roughly how we check. So the, the process of checking, you no need to write it out. It's okay one, unless they ask you, okay, what are the conditions okay, that you can change binomial become poison, then you have to write it out. If let's say you didn't write it out, you can straight away change it up. But by checking yourself, right? But uh, the way or the process that you check the value, no need to. Yeah. So this is what you have for example 14. 
Okay, then now let's continue to example 15. Okay, so here they say 1.5% of the population of the UK can be classified as top, very tall. So very tall person is 1.5%. And the random variable asks me that the number of people in the sample of N people, so you are having a set of N people classified as very tall. So from here, you can actually see also the pattern that you are having a group of people Okay, and who are very tall one, uh, and then they give you that mean is 2.55. So they want to find the n. Okay, so from here, although they didn't have any binomial distribution structure in the question, but you should actually try to guess. For this one, it is something like the PINA percentage, and also you are having the n here. So you can actually suspect also this is binomial distribution. Okay, so I think I told my students before in semester one, uh, actually binomial distribution is not very easy for you to detect it. So you need to really train up this skill and then to detect which one is binomial, which one is polygonal, which one is normal, everything, which is very important. To me, I think the skill is very important. All right? Okay. So let's start with this. You know that it is binomial distributed. The value is n, you don't know what's the value, and then the p is 0 0.015. You change 1.5% becomes 0.015, and they give you that the mean is equal to 2.55. So can anyone tell me what is the uh, formula for binomial distribution to get the mean? So the answer is n times p, right? So you're having 0.015 n equals to 2.55, and therefore you get n equals to 170. Okay, then next question. By using the Poisson distribution as an approximation to a binomial distribution, calculate an approximate value for the probability of a sample of this size that will contain fewer than three people who are classified as very tall. So now for part number two, they are still referring to the X, the number of uh, people who are very tall. Okay, so your sample now is 210. All right, so originally you are having binomial distribution, 210 as the n. Then p is still the same, 0 0.015. Then again, you double check the condition yourself. Okay, I'm not going to show you here. You can change it become horizon distribution. So the mean should be 3.15. All right, so what they want to calculate, they want you to calculate fewer than three people who are very tall. So that means they want you to get x smaller than 3. Okay, so complete this one yourself. You should get the answer 0 0.390. Okay, all right. So this is what we have for changing the binomial distribution become horizon. Okay, huh? uh, to me, I don't think that it is hard. Huh? Just that you need to know how to check the condition correctly and then how to change it correctly and get the probability by using poison. Okay, so this is part of uh, the subtopic for this chapter. Okay, so let's say no problem. Then uh, I will guide you to, I will ask you to attempt a few tutorial questions that before we go to the next subtopic in the next video. So the next subtopic, again, it is the approximation, but it is from poison to normal. All right, so we'll discuss that in detail in the next video.